Hey everyone, my name is Malika and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my video once again. As you can see from the title of this video, I will be giving you 5 tips on how to control your sickle cell disease. Now these tips are going to help prevent you from being hospitalized or hospitalized as often as you're probably used to being hospitalized or it will just help you feel better daily on your day to day life. Um, just help you get through feeling tired, fatigue, pains, aches, pain crises. You know that feeling. People who have sickle cell, you guys know what I mean. But um, yeah, these five tips will help control your sickle cell. Now, my tips I'm going to name from, all very important, but I'm going to name from the fifth one up to my number one most important tip. So let's get started. So number five is clothes. Now, I say clothes because this is more so for the people that live in the cooler climate areas, more in the north. Me, I live in New York, so the winters can be pretty harsh and brutal, and that kind of weather can um, send me into a pain crisis. So that's why I put clothes on this list, because you have to dress warm in the cold winter weathers. You have to. When I say dress warm, I mean layer up, you have to wear your hats, your scarf, your gloves, you know, your thermals. Dress warm. Don't risk it. Don't try to, you know, you don't want to be in the hospital. So you want to do anything you can do to prevent that. Cold weather is when people experience pain crises frequently. And the cold weather helps contribute to pain crises because the cold weather causes narrowing of the blood vessels. So it, it shrinks the blood vessels even more. Our cells are already a funny shape, the crescent shape, so they can't flow through smoothly sometimes. And being that it's cold and the cold weather is very narrowing your blood vessels, it's just a risk of you going to a pain crisis. So just dress warm, be prepared for the winter times, the winter season. My number four is exercise. And when I say exercise, I don't mean go out there and overexert yourself or go doing like some track and field or heavy cardio or anything like that because heavy cardio or heavy exercising can send you into a pain crisis. It can, you know, make you overexert yourself and you can get dehydrated and you can't end up in the hospital. But when I say exercise, I mean, you know, you can do light exercising, yoga, Pilates, um, just walking for an hour a day will help you, will help open up your lungs and give you more oxygen. Oxygen is very important in sickle cell because it helps our cells, it strengthens our cells, it helps it flow more better. Um, one symptom of sickle cell disease is shortness of breath. So you know you want to work on your lungs, open up your lungs, get it strong and pumping. So when I say exercise, light exercise, you don't want to overexert yourself, but you still want to keep your body moving and healthy. Number three. I would put on my list is vitamins and medication. Personally, I don't take medication. My doctor doesn't recommend it for me, but I know some sickle, some sickle cell patients do have to take medication. Keep on your medication, follow what your doctor says. If you have to speak on medication, I would say speak to your doctor about it because I know some sickle cell patients are kind of against taking the kind of medication that their doctor may prescribe for them. But if you need it, take it. Vitamins. Vitamins are extremely important. Extremely important because it helps your immune system. People with sickle cell, we have a very low immune system. And because we have a low, a low immune system, so when you take your vitamins, it boosts your immune system, prevents you from getting any kind of, you know, viruses or any bad bacteria that may be around. It just strengthens your immune system. Um, because we have low immune systems, we're very prone and easily to get these kind of little infections or viral diseases or bacteria is very easy for us to get sick so you want to stay up on your vitamins you have to stay up on your vitamins i think of it like this think of it as vitamins as warriors or soldiers right you're touching things every day germs bacteria all these things are around us you're touching these things and you may not know it you may rub your nose right and that germ those germs and bacteria gets into your system now let's say earlier today, or you've been on top of your vitamins, which are the warriors and soldiers, they're there to help fight and protect you. So as soon as you know those bad bacteria or those germs get into your system, 
the vitamins, you know, the soldiers would kick in and defend you, defend your body, it would help your immune system. So just think of it as like that. These vitamins that you're taking are your personal soldiers. They're there to help you and to protect you. Piggybacking off of the vitamins, this is my number two tip. My second tip, which is nutrition. Now with nutrition, it basically follows the same thing with vitamins. Um, you want to eat your vegetables and your fruits. Vegetables and fruits have great vitamins. Vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, you name it, vitamins have it. I meant, sorry, nutrition have it. And um, if you don't, if you're not the type of person that like swallowing vitamins or, you know, swallowing pills, eat vegetables. You know, have it every day. Have it for breakfast. Have your nice spinach omelet. Um, have it for dinner. Mix vegetables. You know, saute some vegetables. Just get it into your system because just like vitamins, those vegetables and fruits have vitamins which is there to protect you and your body. My number one tip, and I feel like this is the most important tip for people with sickle cell anemia. And this tip is water. Water, water, water. You have to drink water. You have to stay hydrated. Dehydration equals pain crisis. Not drinking water equals pain crisis. You have to drink water at least two to four liters a day. Drinking water helps with your digestion. It helps with your bowel movements. Um, it helps your organs, your tissues. It helps your cells flow properly and easily through your blood vessels so that it can prevent pain crises. So you wanna always stay hydrated. Hydration is the number one key when it comes to sickle cell. Water is very important. Drink, you know, two cups of water as soon as you wake up in the morning. What I usually do, um, I'm kind of the opposite. I always have a 24 ounce mason jar filled with ice water and I drink that right before I go to bed. I take it with me in the room, rest it on my nightstand and I drink it, you know, right before I go to sleep. Um, if you're the same, you might want to do that. It's good to drink it right before you go to bed and as soon as you wake up in the morning and just keep drinking throughout the day. Don't even think about it. Just keep drinking, drinking, drinking. As soon as you know it, those two to four liters that you're supposed to drink a day at least will be nothing. So drink water. It's very important to stay hydrated. Just think of it like this. Dehydration equal hospitalization. Dehydration leads to hospitalization. So always keep yourself hydrated. Although it's important to always drink water, I used to think it was even more important to like if you live in the southern, like in the southern areas or more south, that you need to drink more because it's so humid down there that you can get dehydrated really easily. But it's important to drink water whether it's cold weather, hot weather, whatever weather, any time of the day, drink water. Not juice, not soda, not liquor, water. Water is key to helping your sickle cell anemia. So drink plenty of water. Um, so that's it. Those are my five tips to help control your sickle cell anemia. I hope this video was helpful, informative, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for my next video. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Hit like, subscribe, and support. If you have any questions, you could comment them down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much. See you next time. Bye.